Alright? Hello everyone. Listen. Um, good day. By the way, my name is Aris J.S. Sanchez. And you can call me Sir Aris. And I will be your instructor for today's discussion. Okay. So we, I may call on uh, someone to please lead the prayer. Marjun. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good morning, class. Okay. Before you settle down, can you leave... Uh, Kindly pick up the pieces of papers underneath your chairs and tables and can please arrange it and do it silently. Alright? So if you're done, uh, Miss Re Secretary, um, is there any absentees in this morning? So kindly, kindly list down all the names of absentees and give it to me after the class. Okay, so thank you. Alright class, are you ready for today's discussion? Alright, I can see in all your faces that you are um, excited um, and covering new topics for today's discussion. But before that, I have some questions. What was our um, topic yesterday? Danica. Alright, very good. Our topic for today is all about a story entitled The Storm. Now, who is the author of um, the story? James. Okay, very good. So the author of the story entitled um, The Storm is Kate Chopin. Now, what is the theme of the story? Laika. Alright, very well said. Like I said, that the theme of the story is all about strong relationship. Anyone? Okay, Sarah. Alright, very good. So Sarah also said that the theme of the story is all about tragedy. So both their answers are correct. The theme of the story is all about being strong in terms of tragedy. Now, how, it is, how important it is to know the elements of the story? Paul. Yeah, yes. Alright, very well said. It is important to know the elements of the story so that we could be able, we can be able to respond to the event text. Very good. Another one. Clara. Alright, thank you Clara. Clara said that uh, it is also important, it is because um, we could be able to um, support the author's ideas and his reasons or the author's purpose on writing the story. Now, can you give your ha yourself a hand of applause please? I believe that you have really mastered the uh, our past discussion yesterday so now let us now proceed or let us now begin with a new topic but before that we will be having an activity now the question is are you ready yes if so I will be introducing you our activity and this activity is entitled Guess your pet. So, the, the instruction is this. I have here a pictures, a figure containing of pictures of animals or pets. Now, you have to guess um, what picture it is in these two figures. And uh, by doing that, you, you don't have to uh, guess by telling it its name. Instead, you have to um, create the sound that you chose um, in your guess. Understand? Alright. So now, I will be uh, dividing this class into two groups. This will be the group 1 and 
this will be the group 2. Now, each members in your group will have to collaborate so that all your guests will, ha uh, will be uh, synchronized. It will match up to the idea of one another. Alright? So, you have to uh, collaborate with your members. You have to decide what would be your uh, best guess. Alright? So now, each question, uh, I mean, each picture here is um, as a anchor. Has an um, I mean, each picture here is anchored with um, questions. And you have to select a representative to answer these questions, whether you guess it right or wrong. All right. So, I think that's all. So, let us now begin. All right. So, starting with the group one. So, kindly choose a figure. Where is the figure? Figure number one. All right. Here. Here is your figure. So, in three, in a count of three, um, you will guess it uh, by telling it sound, alright? So, in three, two, one. Alright, I heard some of you, or most of you, said, ow, ow, ow. So, I will, I will now reveal the picture. And it shows, you guess it wrong, group one, the picture is a representation of a cow. So, group one, um, I'm sorry, but you will not get um, a, a special prize later on. Because once um, the group who will um, guess it right will have a special prize. Alright. So, however, you have to select representative to answer uh, the anchored question. So, here is the cow, cow's question. Alright. So, the question is, do you have pets in your um, house? Alright, so you have many, you have cats and dogs, a chicken. Alright, so I can see that Shilia has, uh, uh, I think he is a pet lover. And thank you, Shilia. Thank you for that question. I that answer. Now, let us now proceed to the group two. Alright. Group two, be ready for in a count of three, you will be guessing this figure, uh, what in what animal is hidden in this picture. In three, two, one. Alright, the group two, the majority of group two says ow ow ow. That. So therefore, they guess it right. So the picture is um, a representation of a dog. Now, because the group 2 got uh, the correct guess, uh, you can claim your uh, special prize after our class. Now, kindly select a representative to answer the accompanied question. Okay, David. So, here is your question. So, how important is your pet in your life? Do you have any? Uh, yes. So, how important it is in your life? Or how close uh, your pet is in your life? Alright. So, David said that um, he, he treated his pet as part of their family. So, do you have um, any other pets in your house? Oh, you only have dog. So, would you, the second question, would you uh, sell your dog for a large price when you are in a um, difficult situation? Would you sell your dog when you are in a situation where you have money? I, you you needed money. Alright, David, David said he would not. So, I believe that all of us here has a different answer for this question. Now, thank you group 1 and group 2. 
congratulations and thank you for your cooperation. And now you might wonder why um, I have these questions here. So it is for me to understand the different um, perspectives regarding regard regarding of how well uh, how close you are to your um, pets in your house and uh, how did I um, say that it is because it is somewhat related to our next topic in this morning and it is about the, a story entitled Adios Cobra so it is somewhat related in our topic so, a Diyos Cordera is a story. So, before we dig deeper in our um, story to discuss, we will now first be guided by our objectives. And here is our objectives. So, group one, can you uh, please read the uh, number one adjectives? Understand what is the given story all about. And group two, can the next one determine the author's purpose in writing the story by the negotiation. Now, all of us, all of you, read the last objectives. Write an essay that applies the moral values of the story. Adios, Godwin. All right. So we, now that we know our objectives, we will have to tackle about the story entitled. Adios Cordera. But before that, we have to um, um, uncover first the background of the author. Now, the author of Adios Cordera, here. The author of Adios Cordera is Leopoldo. So, Adios Cordera is a story written by Leopoldo Alas, or also called as Clarín, in the year 1892. Now, Leopoldo Alas, um, in full, Leopoldo Alas E. Urenia, by name, Clarín, born on April 25, 1852, in Spain, and died on June 13, 1901. He is a novelist journalist and the most influential literary critic in the late 19th century in Spain. So, after studying in law, uh, after studying law in Madrid, he went to the University of Oviedo in 1870, received his degree and took a position in the university as professor in of law and political economy a post he held until his death. So, um, Leopoldo Alas also published thousands of articles in national magazines and newspapers through which he cultivated drama, poetry, and fiction. So, Alas also wrote several outstanding short novels and he is also considered the father of the modern Spanish story. So his intellectual integrity and ethical preoccupations appear in his wide-ranging collections, which include Pipa in 1886, Doña Aberta, Cuervo, Superchiria, and God and the Rest is, uh, is Fairy Tales, Cuentos Morales in 1893, and in 1901, he wrote The Rooster of Socrates. Alright, so now... Now that we uncover the background of the author, Leopoldo Alas, the author who wrote the story of our topic here, I will now be giving you um, a, the copy of the story. And you will be reading it, and I will be giving you 8 minutes to read the story. So you have to read it, read it in your eyes, and... Don't you ever make some noise. So, here in front, can you pass it to the back? Alright. Please do uh, read it silently. Alright. Alright, 
minutes. So your your eight minutes starts now. All right, your time is up. Your eight minutes is now over. So, eyes on me. Enough reading. So, um, to tell you honestly, I am very much um, happy to see you um, focus on reading. Because I can see that you really um, uh, take it in your mind of what you are reading. Now, it is... now. It is okay for me to um, ask you some questions uh, related to the story you just have read. Now, uh, may I ask somebody, what is the title of the story? Aurora. Alright, as, as, as what is um, pasted here, the title of the story is Adios Cordera. Now, who is the author of the story? James. Okay, very good. Leopoldo Alas is the author of the story. Now, who are the characters of the story, J Lord? Alright, very good, J Lord. So this the, the characters of the story is Rosa, Pinin, La Cordera, and Anton Vicinta. Now how did the story start and what happened in the middle and what happened in the end? Arthur. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So Arthur said that in the beginning of the story, um, Rosa, Pinin, and La Cordera are very happy with being together. However, there are some conflicts which happen in the middle that their father needed some money for their um, everyday needs and because of poverty. So be because of uh, because of that, in what happened in the end is what you said, Arthur? Yes. What happened in the end is the father, which is Antoni Chinta, the father of uh, Rosa and Pinin decided to, uh, yeah, to sell to sell the uh, La Cordera to sell La Cordera for a higher price. Now, how did uh, Rosa and Pinin Pinin treated La Cordera? Um, may I call on uh, who's this girl? Um, uh, yes. Uh, the, the girl next to you, J. Lord. Lloyda. May I call on Lloyda? How did uh, Rosa and Pinin um, treat that La Cordera? Alright. Very good. So, Rosa and Pinin treated La Cordera as one of their family. Now, what was the reason of Anton de Chinta for selling the cow, which is La Cordera? Yes, may I call on someone? Agustin! Alright, so the reason, very good, thank you Agustin. So the reason for uh, Antoni Chinta in selling the cow is because of poverty. Alright, very good. Now, how did Rosa and Pinin felt when they found out the absence of La Cordera? Lea. Uh, yes, of course. So, Thea said that Rosa and Pinin felt sad and devastated. Of course, who among you here would uh, would not feel the same? Right? Alright. So, now I believe that you have really understand uh, what was the story all about. Now, let, let us now begin with another activity. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me post it first. Uh, just for a uh, piece, a minute, a second, rather. 
Alright. So, are you all excited to do our next activity? Yes? Alright. So, if so, I will be dividing again this class into two groups. This will be the group 1 and this will be the group 2. Now, this activity is entitled Performance Check. Now, here is the instruction of this activity. So, each group will be given 5 minutes. You, your, you will be given 5 minutes to discuss with your members about a scene that caught your emotions which portrays the author's purpose in writing the story. And next, you will select a representative in any number to enact the scene you have chosen. Now, next one is after the presentation, you have to give a one-minute discussion on how did you end up choosing that scene. So, are we all clear? Alright, is the direction clear? Alright, so without further ado, I will be giving you five minutes to discuss with your group mates about the task you will be performing. And the five minutes starts now. Alright, I believe that the five minutes is now over. So, um, you will be, uh, you will going to present uh, your performance here in front. But before that, you will be guided by our um, criteria. So, here is the criteria for uh, your performance. So, for the performance, 15 points. If I could see that you perform very well, and for creativity, I will give 15 points if you're, uh, you give um, life with your imagination. And for the emotion, I will give 15 points if I could see that um, your emotions um, could, uh, could make me feel like I am at the actual scene of the story, right? So, for in collaboration, uh, I will be giving 15 points if your um, members, if I can see that your members um, have shared their um, thoughts in making this presentation um, uh, very well. Now, without further ado, may I call on the group one to please stand here in front and perform the given task. So group one, all right, group one, you may start. All right, what a wonderful performance from group one. So uh, yeah, group one really uh, uh, made a strong impression. So group two, bear be, be ready for your performance. But before that, I will be rating the performance of group uh, one. So now, wait a minute. So for the performance, I could see that um, the performance of group one is uh, really amusing. So I will be giving them 15 points, perfect points of 15. And for the creativity, so they they really give the um, story of the scene, uh, they really give life of the story. So I will give them 15 points. And for the emotions, their emotions are very strong. And uh, in the part that um, 
Cross Saint Pinin Cried, which is done by Agustin and Laika. It is very amusing. Uh, they really uh, showed tears, um, a heartfelt scene. Yes, so I will be giving them 15 points. And for the collaboration, I could see that um, all of the members of the group have shared their ideas and opinions and thoughts on how to make the, presenta the presentation well. So I will be giving them a perfect point, point of 5 points. So a total of 50 points. So a round of applause for group one. Now, group two, are you ready? All right, so now you can um, go here in front. Come here in front. All right, so group two, are you ready? All right, you may now start. All right, thank you for that wonderful presentation, group two. All right, so now, let us now um, rate the performance of group two. Group two did uh, really uh, good. So, I will be giving them for the performance 14 points. It's because uh, they, they somehow managed to um, deliver their presentation um, Good. However, the strong impression of the group one's presentation um, uh, makes last. That's why I, I guess it didn't uh, reach the level of performance of group one. That is why. However, um, the the group two's presentation is um, really good uh, still. So I will be giving them 14 points. Congratulations, group two. Now, for the creativity, I will be giving them 15 points because they also have a different idea and um, that makes me um, look into different perspectives of the scenarios of the story, coming from the story. So I will be giving them 15 points. So for the emotions, they also have a strong emotions and they also portrays the... Uh, devastation of the fa uh, of the daughter, which is Pinin and Rosa, which is acted by Misa and Dayan. So, good job for that. So, I'll, I will be giving you 15 points. And for the collaboration, I could see that uh, lately, um, uh, some of the members are not paying attention. So, I will be giving them five points. Uh, four points, rather. So a total of 48 points. Still, a round of applause for group two. So, congratulations to group one and group two. Alright, I'm sorry for the delay. Now, since we're done with our activity, I have here some questions. So, group one and group two, in your presentation, how were you able to identify the author's purpose in writing this story? Kobe. Uh-huh, thank you. So, you find the author's purpose in writing the story by digging to the moral of the story. Right, very good, I'm sorry. So wait for a minute. All right, wait, just wait for a minute. So now, um, did you find the activity interesting? All right, Loida, in what way? Alright, so now how important it is to understand the author's purpose of the story. Uh, Diane, 
Yes, they are. All right. It is important to understand the purpose of the authors in writing the story so that we could also be able to understand more what was the story all about and what is the purpose of the story and what is the author's purpose in portraying those scenarios um, and how could we able to relate it in real life situations. So thank you, Diane. Now, how did the story make you feel and why? Rosame. Yeah. How did the story make you feel and why? All right, very well said, Rosame. So the story make Rosame um, sad when um, he, uh, during the scene that the father of Rosa and Pinin had decided to uh, sell the cow, which is La Cordera, um, for the reason of need for money. And do you feel the same? Yes, me too. So I feel sad because um, there's, uh, there are many um, ways, but still, um, her father decided to um, uh, sell La Cordera, which is really, really a sad point. Now, if you are Rosas and in if you are in Rosas and in Pinin's, Pinin's shoes, um, what would, um, how would you react to your father's deed? Marjun. All right, thank you, Marjun. So Marjun said that she would, he would surely be angry, right, Marjun? So of course. First impression, uh, first uh, reaction, of course, you will be angry because you did not know um, that the, the one thing that you love is never be coming back. And it is natural for us to be angry about that. Now, if you are Anton Vicinta, which is the father of um, Rosa and Pinin, would you do the same? Yes? No? Yes? Who said yes? Alright, you at the you at the back. Okay, Laika. You said yes. So if yes, do you think it is the best way? Do you think it is the best way uh, to overcome the situation you are in? If you are in the father's situation. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get your point, like, uh, like, uh, so I get your point that um, that is the uh, effective way to get out uh, on poverty. So you have to sell the cow for a high price without um, you. You did not look for uh, towards the emotions of your daughters, right? So. Um, who said no? Arthur, who said, yes, you said no. So, Arthur, you said no. So, what could be possible um, actions uh, you you could do to prevent such decision uh, for you to make? You can prevent uh, selling um, La Cordera. So, what could be possible actions? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Arthur. So Arthur said that he could um, make ways by uh, getting a job. Uh, yes, getting a job, be uh, employed. That's that's the way you could earn money and you could serve. How? Um, no matter um, um, uh, the the timeline. You could still, yeah, you could still get out of poverty without selling La Cordera, alright? That's your point. Okay, thank you, Arthur. So, I believe that 
um, every one of you here had different um, understanding and per perception of the decision of the father and that is uh, that concludes the author's purpose of the story by letting us know on how to find um, ways uh, in such difficult situation by realizing what could be the best actions to do and how could these actions affect uh, the future of our lives. Alright, thank you everyone for the um, very good um, participation. Now, I believe that you, you now understand what was the purpose and what was uh, the story all about, as well as the author's purpose in writing the story. So let us now have uh, a, another activity. So now this activity is an essay. <clears throat> all right. So it is time for essay. So, kindly get one half sheet of paper and write at least one paragraph essay that applies the moral value of the story Cordera, Adios Cordera. You only have 10 minutes to answer. Who have no paper? Alright, here. You can have mine. One half sheet of paper, everyone. Alright, the 10 minutes is running. All right, your 10 minutes is now over. So, um, Sheila, can we collect all the uh, papers and give it to me after the class? All right, so I, I, I believe that the t 10 minutes is um, um, okay for you to answer the essay. Now, we are all done and for that, we will now go back to our objectives if we attain this in our discussion. Now, understand what is the given story all about. So, did we attain these objectives? In what part? Yes, in the um, after reading. So, now, the next one is determine the author's purpose in writing the story by dramatization. Did we attain this one? Right in the activity that you make in the performance check. Now, in the number three, write an essay that applies the moral value of the story at Jos Cordera. Cordera. Did we attain this one? All right, in the essay time. So now I believe that we are um, really equipped now with ideas and. Um, the knowledge about the story entitled Adios Cordera we will now I will now test your understanding if you really um, understand what is uh, our topic for 
this morning. So, kindly um, get one fourth sheet of paper for our quiz time. So, get one fourth sheet of paper, write the letter of the correct answer, and you only have 30 seconds to answer each item. So, you only have 30 seconds, and once the 30 seconds is over, you will now proceed to the second item. So, item number one. All oh, right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, please, ready, prepare. All right, so are you all set? Okay, let us now begin. Your 30 seconds is now ready. Question number one. Two. Time's up. Three. Time's up. Four. Time's up. Five. Time's up. Six. Time's up. Seven. Time's up. Eight. Time's up. Item number nine. Time's up. Last item. Alright, that's all for our quiz and our third kindly um, collect all the papers and give it to me after our class so did you find the quiz difficult yeah right all right so it is just easy peasy for you since you understand the um, I mean you understand our discussion um, in this morning so because of that I think I believe that that concludes our topic and uh, that's all for today but before we leave I will have to give you I will be giving you an assignment to be submitted in our next meeting now here is your assignment assignment listen direction create a five minutes music video that is related to the story Adios Cordera so you have to create a five minutes vi video um, uh, it is your choice you can choose whatever or how uh, will you do that either you can um, get um, video clips on YouTube or you can film yourselves and it's up to you uh, just to make a 5 minute video presentation related to a Joss Cordera alright so I guess that ends our uh, discussion. Thank you for listening and see you ne next meeting. Goodbye class. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye class.